Hey everybody, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption uh, 2 on Video Games Awesome Live, where we all frozen again. Yes, we anyway, were. Kane Cartoon, I just want to yeah. give a shout out to for sponsoring Thank this episode, you, bringing this uh, $500 donor, Jesus Christ, uh, who just wants to say, use his, his sponsorship to say that he loves you guys. What just, is sweetheart? That's him at Comic-Con, where he said he had a great time. And he nice just likes hanging out shirt. with you turbos and wants to see more of you in the future. <laughs> All right. He could have used his sponsorship to say anything, and he said that. Yeah. Pretty sweet. <sighs> what a nice man. All right, everybody. So we're talking to uh, Pearson. All right. All right. So I'm not sure if we're in the open world yet or what. Like, this is the first time that we've been given an indicator on the map that's got a little letter which in the previous red dead indicated that we were now taking on missions at our leisure yeah we'll do this and see what happens do you guys first. say leisure or leisure i do whatever the A fuck i want i say leisure we were stranded at sea for 50 days and you unfortunately survived <laughs> when we ran away from blackwater I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, the government agents are hunting you down. Sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing this We'll go find something. Oh, this will be a hunting, teaching. Oh. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, this is good to here. do. <laughs> You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Oh, woof. Salted will be preferable. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if there's game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Hey, buddy. Hi, friend. You want to come cuddle? Come here. Yeah, you take this. Yeah, when do we get to start okay, fishing? You'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn. I imagine. We're like sort of assaulted awful. Am I right? <laughs> Yeah. What's awful? It's uh, intestines. Oh. It's guts in general. Good luck like rearing. This is. I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad. It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a pole right now. I'm uh, sure I'll hope I can. They really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So. You reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. How come this guy doesn't have a western or a southern accent or whatever accent we'll these guys all way. have? Find some higher ground. I don't know. He almost sounds like a Native American. Days, kind right, of. Right, right north from Blackwater. Getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. See I what I mean? Yeah. Like that, just a lot to think back on. You think he's native? I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, out here told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. So we're gonna have to wait for Red Dead Redemption 3 to see what happened on that boat, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Unless they do a flashback, which... I don't think Red Dead really does flashback. I mean, Rockstar does flashbacks. There's always a first time. Some of the 
ground uncovered here. This game is beautiful. Right? The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. My friend. Hmm. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Oh, watch it. Hey, it's not letting me do my horse weapons. How can you tell? What's wrong with you? First the dog, now the horse. Don't leave it on your horse. The gun will scare everything around. No, use the bow I gave you. That is not good for morale. I did not mean to fucking do that. Come here, Rudiger. Rudiger's like, is that me next? I would have yelled at you if Rudiger wasn't here. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Abs no I People confused are, L2 I'm with R2. Bad form. Stay low and move slowly. That's a bad force. <laughs> Look at me hunting with dual action. <laughs> he ends up drawing the bow and shooting the pistol. And just like... Maybe not. Focus. <laughs> Chad is so Let's mad at you. Moving. Fraser punched his horse. It wasn't my fault. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track me as well in grass and woods. Huh. So kind of like detective mode? I guess I just detective vision. focus on track. Oh, it's like glowing. Oh. Uh, so that's how they do it, huh? With R1. Witcher sense. sit on my lap? Where's my scent? Oh, I see it. It's just this little... Oh my god. Whoa, we're stinky. That's pretty cool. Hey, buddy. I love how they did this. Oh! Shh. Down there. You see him? Are you ready with that bow? Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. Get good tension on the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. Now watch. Buddy. Huh. Attract an animal's attention by selecting call while aiming at it. Yeah, Frizz is probably going to go up and punch the deer now. You're distracting me and the chat, Rediker. Wow, pelt quality is reduced. 
is that if it's like a improper kill, I didn't read the whole thing. Yeah, I didn't. Where's my scent going? It's going that way. That's crazy, that mechanic. That's okay. Try again. The quality of the meat and the pelt is determined by how the animal is killed, just like in real life. That's cool. How close am I allowed to get before they notice me? My scent is going towards them. Uh oh. Kind of, almost. What was that? Just like your only chance for a good meal. So the longer he holds his bow, the more um, tired his arm gets and it starts to waver oh, and rumble. Oh, really? Now I'm going to games acknowledge the fact that, like, holding a bow taut is extremely difficult. Yeah. Most characters can just do it for infinity. It's cool that they mention, or bring that into the game. Tomb Raider does it, you think? Quite a few games do? Huh. Name some. Tomb Raider. That's one. <laughs> I can't remember many that do it. A short bow isn't that hard to use? TF2 actually does that? Horizon doesn't do it. Whoops! Did you what hit did I just dead do? eye? Oh! I see what's going on. Got it. Well done. What was that? We can carry. I think I initiated dead eye. Okay. Okay. You pick up one, I'll get the other. Damn you it. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay. I'll go grab the other one. Yeah, you go grab the other one. I'm not walking all the way back there. He looks happy. Compendium unlocked. <laughs> hmm. To increase the distance at which it responds to your whistling depends on the bond. So stop punching your motherfucking horses, Fraser. I regret. Your horse is not going to come for you. I have regrets. See, he Tell that to your me. horse. What's you your guys horse's name? Give me. Um, Trusty Steed. I call him Punching Bag. <laughs> punching Bag. Old Punching Bag. Oh, boy. 
Whoa. He pooped. God damn it. I was gonna have him do that on my garden. Oh wow. Guys, our horse just pooped. That's a nice horse. That's the thing that just happened. <laughs> you didn't know. I didn't know that. I think that was pooped. revealed in one of the trailers. Oh. Well. We all went nuts over it. I don't have a memory. Yeah. <laughs> he did almost poop on our dinner. Ready to head back when you are. Come on, man. Let's head back. Finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still waiting. You've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what that? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. So this was happening in May, this kind of a, this blizzard? Yeah, isn't that fucking crazy? Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mountains to feed. One more. Except maybe that can of salt and awful fish she was kind enough to give us. Hmm. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. Yeah, she does. Of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. We might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll go with the O'Driscoll Careful force. with his ear. Look at it. <laughs> Well, I know Come my on. money's on that side. It's He's a little weak, raw. But I think you got that makes um, him much more useful. Mosquito bite, Maybe I think. we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Look at his foot yeah. as I scratch his I've ear. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well... We've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Watch out. <sighs> Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. No. I want to shoot him up. He must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Bear! We've got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. Trail. The bear loves trails. Oh man. Are you holding out yeah, three? Okay, yeah. There you go, punch and bag. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Nah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. Oh, are they in love? <laughs> no, you can run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. 
I'm still wondering that most nights. Careful. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Jeez. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. Taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things. I and mean, Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. The subtlety That's of the Native American the accent in his voice was well played. It really was. I knew it wasn't crazy. How's that new horse? He's all right. He's a nice horse. For now. Takes a now punch like a champ. Take time the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but who knows that horse? <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the cow once. A me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Whose horse is the Count? Ah, uh, Duchess. Dutch and the Count. What's our name? Arthur Morgan. I'm gonna hit time over here. Morgan and punching bag. Drop some food back, boys. Oh, PB. Get these over to Pearson. Uh, yeah, I hitched my horse. Thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. There's a lifetime of practice to master. Cool. The voice actor for Arthur is actually Irish. There he is. Uncle. I do my utmost to avoid. He loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Fuck yeah. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you saying it does. Yeah. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest the hands. I recognize his voice. The cook. Might mm. help me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan. It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one yet you dumped on the floor there. You told me to put it there. Jerk. That voice. Hmm. Navy rum. It's got semen in it. <laughs> Holy shit, they animated the whole skinning. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Not too bad. Dude. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these and sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make the legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <laughs> yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> 
something wow a few days later it's been a bad few weeks Dutch being Dutch he is busy making plans and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. All right, another chapter in the bag. We'll come back with who the hell is Leviticus Cornwall chapter. Yes. And a kitty. Oh yeah, he's got a. Yeah, that's a mosquito bite. Oh, my buddy. That sucks. They do go for the ears. We know a kitty in the park mm. next to us that has really Sitchy. bloody ears, like all up and down, because he lives in the park, so he gets bitten constantly. Mosquitoes go right for the ears yeah. on kitties. I wonder if we need to get him some medicine. We could maybe, I wonder if you could take some of that human Mookie. stuff. Mookie? Aww. He's itchy. It's itchy, yeah. buddy. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll be back. Ah. Uh, dirt.